It's Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we'll bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my very interesting co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Oshanke. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? I'm great, you? I love your color. Is it lemon, it's nice. called, or something? What's it called? Neon. You look oh, nice. It's neon, low tall. Mm. Ah, you're disgraced my age. It's okay. <laughs> uh, but still, okay, you guys also, it's not I lemon. No. At all. Uh, yes, it is. Ah. It should be, Abby. It's lemon. But well, it's a neon, neon. It's, it's a neon, neon type like of color. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Unlike the off shoulder, on shoulder, thank you, you know. Thank you. If you're, what are you looking at? The shoulder. Put your eyes in. <laughs> look at me. Just okay. yeah, look at okay. yeah. I'm looking. Okay, so let's start with the good news from Davido. Um his twenty sixteen hit single Fall has officially been certified gold in Canada. And of course he made the announcement on his Instagram page. Ooh, uh, ooh. Is, eh? is that not the song? Money eh, eh. fall. Ah. Oh, Banana fall. <laughs> Davido. Yeah, okay. That song is I'm not sorry. I love a lot of his songs. You so do, they just actually. Tick. Somehow, you, but yeah, you actually love the video. Do. Yeah. You do? Yeah, she does. I didn't know that. I thought that was Ewa. Ah. Mm, she also loves him. Oh, yeah? Mm. I'm happy well, for Congratulations it's, to it's him. A it's deal. a huge deal. Huge I think that's deal. A, it's, that's the sixth country now. Mm. It mm. is making gold, and that's amazing. It just goes to show that if we can get um, our own personal streaming platform mm. in Nigeria, I, I, I can't begin to imagine what's... Um, the progress is going to be and how much money they can make from that. And yeah. also, one of the problems um, regarding that is the availability of data and mm. how expensive it is. So if everything can be put right, I think our artists in Nigeria would be making so much that mm. thinking of how to go international will now be a personal decision. Yeah. Like, do you really want to take the risk and the stress? You mm -hmm. know? Well, congratulations to them. They're really trying. Congratulations to David on this one. It keeps on um, breaking rounds and that's really amazing considering the fact that it's just 26 and it's done so much and then with all the backlash that came to David Doe when he started his career and all of that mm -hmm. about, about Lugo is not this is privileged like everyone wants to put it but he's still putting in the work I can never get over the hard work he puts in so every time I get to talk about David Doe I can help but talk about the hard work he puts in so it just shows that even people that are not that privileged and that so laid back like life is a bed of roses it just shows that look hard work resilience is all you need to be successful in life hmm. everything you have said <laughs> you agree <laughs> i'm happy for him obviously he deserves it for sure um i don't think that, i don't think a privilege is a um one of the the i guess these the the backlashes I've, I've heard from him it's mostly about his music like his sound or whatever but i think he's he's made his own ground like mm. despite he's using what he has to get what he wants he's a good example of that and there's a lot that you can follow from from him i'm happy he's getting what he is what all this attention because he's somebody in the industry that we've talked about this many times um that has stayed true to making an effort to give us good music despite the fact that he doesn't have to like the video could just sing ha 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 and people would still like you know and there's a lot of his colleagues that are doing that but he's refused and he's still you can his veins are still showing he's still <laughs> like you know he's still in all that sweating. yeah so it's it's really nice to see that other people are appreciating him as much as we do Okay, yeah. so um, Tiwa Savage, David Doe, and Mr. Easy um, cover Billboard magazine. The conversation following the cover was tagged three of Africa's biggest stars for making the industry come to them. Um, they touched on how they have adjusted creativity and pers adjusted creatively and personally to life um, due to the pandemic, factors driving industry investments in Africa in the past few years, encountered stereotypes and their individual music business choices. While speaking on stereotypes, Siwa Savage talked about how the perception of Africans is changing with the help of social media and the limitation of the modern African woman. Huge, another huge one. You have to say, you have to admit that like, being a Nigerian, especially when it comes to music, is a big flex. It's like, once you say you're a Nigerian in some chores, in some shows, rather, they're like, oh, okay. And this is another, like, big flex for us, being on the billboard. Three people on the billboard is 
like a huge step. Um, I'm surprised this kid wasn't there. It's not Billboard Africa. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah, saying, like, <laughs> true. Usually they, yeah. Um, which which is there's nothing wrong with that, but still, this is huge. Uh, um, I was surprised this kid wasn't there, but to stick to the storyline, which is on <laughs> Tua Savage and and being a modern woman and having African um, modern African women and limitations. Is I'm glad that she is talking about a social ill. Um, I think Tua Savage does a very good job of trying to keep safe and, you know, really just preserve. But I like that she got uses opportunity to talk about something that is huge and a huge problem in this side of the world. Um, especially coming from a modern version of an African woman. I think that that's a very niche space and I'm glad that she took that up. Um, it starts a conversation, already has started a conversation and I don't think there's anything I want to say on the table about that that I've, I've I probably not already, yeah. already spoken about, but it's good that we are, any opportunity to like revisit that and really start to talk about that is good. Mm. Um, big shout out to David O, Tua Savage and Mr. Easy for blessing that cover because I believe they blessed it. And um, then... <laughs> 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 and... Um, on Tiwa Savage, I like the fact that she was able to balance what she was saying. She said being submissive, that they expect women to be submissive. That, don't get me wrong, it's not like there's anything wrong with that, but women can do so much more. So women shouldn't just say that, ah, oh, because Tiwa Savage has spoken, I'm not going to be submissive, because a lot of women do not believe in being submissive anymore. But there has to be a balance. You can do so much more as a submissive woman. It doesn't say to not be submissive. So that's what you of also, that's the gist. important things. That's what you, you that's what you wanted. That's what missing. I picked. Ah, if, uh, Ay, yeah, yeah. Ah, but anyway, kudos <laughs> to the writer. I think his name is Sheye or she I'm yeah, missing that somehow. But reading that article, is, it just carries you along. Mm. From the beginning to the end, you don't want to drop your phone. You want to know what did he say next, what did Tiwa say next, what did David do say. Even the introduction alone is an article of its yeah. own. So kudos to the writer. I don't think people who do this behind the scenes work really get the Accolade. the accolades they deserve. So I just want to say well done on that beautifully written article. And um, of course, you've said it. Um, Tiwa was spot on. David Doe, of course, was spot on. I don't know why anytime I read or watch an interview of David Doe making a lot of sense, it still feels weird <laughs> to me. I kind of feel like he's just amazing with music. So I, I never expect him to be able to be so articulate, to mm. sound very good and then represent Africa. But he keeps doing that. As much as I love him, that's just the perception that's just mm. stuck somewhere in my head. And kudos to both She's of them. She's from course, a guy that went to Babcock University. Oh, uh, God. You went, went to Babcock, to Babcock University? You chose submissive. Here, in this conversation. So, Let's not even go there. So? No, I'm, I'm just saying. So? Like, but for Mr. Easy... So? <clears throat> Can I continue? <laughs> Balance. Are easy. No, I'm not balancing. <laughs> Balance. Who went to Babcock University? David, David Doe. Right. I thought he went abroad. Ah, he came back. Oh, okay. Mm. So, um, for Mr. Easy, I, I love how he talked about his decision to be independent and how he has also turned down a lot of... Um, um, mouth-watery deals just to maintain the lane he has decided to maintain and now mm. he has the empower and all the money mm. um he's gotten for grants to be able to help other artists he also mentioned um one i can't remember the name of the artist now but i think he's from tanzania one african country anyway that he said he's jumping on the song with um him it, i think he discovered him alongside joe boy as well mm. so he's doing a lot in that regard mm. i just want to say shout out to three of them mm. they are they're representing us right and that's what we need right now yeah yeah Right. We still want to talk about Bob Cook and submission. Well, um, like if you still want me to touch on the yeah, submissive please. part, mm, I would ahead. gladly touch touch on it because women tend to look yeah. at it like. <laughs> oh, <bad. laughs> it's time for a quick break. But when we come back, we have more to discuss. Oh. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, right. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. I 
can still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people that got DM sometimes from Malawi like Welcome back. So I think Sunday is going to be very interesting as Emma Abaga and Neto C will be having a face off on Instagram Live Battle. I'm and not looking forward what to people, this. What people, I don't want to miss this one. Why are you not looking forward to it? I don't know, because, um, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I just don't. <laughs> you just want to be a hater at this one. No, I just don't know, it's not like I want to be Why? a hater. Why, you don't like... I, you know when there's some battles that just get you like, whoa, I can't wait to see what's going to happen, but I don't see a lot of competition going on there. Do you, mm, do you wow. get it? Like, yes, I, I don't, see, yeah. I see that. Okay, yeah. so for me, when it comes to need to see... I feel like um, I'm not comfortable with the fact that he got married and then he just left ah. the music scene. That's mm. what happened. He got mm. married and he left the music scene. Now, I don't know the reason behind that. And I'm also not comfortable even when it happens to women as yeah. well. We're into politics it's not, as well. It's what I know him for that I know him for. Mm. So it's, it's, it is not about the gender now. It's just me and how I feel like marriage should not take away that much. Whatever, mm. that much you know, it should, that's just how to put it. It shouldn't take away that you much. You know what? I, let me finish. Now. Okay, I'm comfortable with you taking a break. I mean, everybody has to take a break once in a while, mm. especially when you have to raise a family and have some balance. Somehow you have to. But I, I think he's a very talented man. Um, when he was in the scene, Netusi was among the top 10 yeah. that era. Like this morning, I had to go back to listen to some of his songs, 10 over 10, a lot of them. Big and deal. Big I mean, deal. Big deal. Yeah. they brought back a lot of memories. And I felt like... Um, I still feel like he's that much talented. But for me, I, um, as much as I know that this is not going to be a battle per se, because they said they are doing 10, 10 songs already. So even if M.I. wants to bring out more than 10 songs, there is there is no way to do that. I think I this is just a comeback that. for me to see. Yeah. I think it's like a PR stunt for a comeback because somebody already challenged M.I. Abaga and he didn't take it up. So why mm. exactly are you taking this one up? And if you're doing it for the hip-hop culture, why are you not choosing someone that is... <laughs> I think this um, stemmed up from a conversation. Now. It stemmed up from a conversation on Twitter about a lady that was saying uh, 10, um, 10 MI greatest songs, and I think Noble Igwe responded saying that all MI songs are hit songs, right? Mm -hmm. And then she she now said that ah that she doesn't. Then she just said something that connected to this, and I think they both spoke about it following that tweet, and that was why they decided to so come. The lady mentioned Neto C or what? Yeah, Neto C. No, M I. M I. So how did Neto C come into C. the conversation? It was it was it was a Twitter conversation. It's a long thread. I really can't tell you everything that was said on Twitter about this right now. But I still feel I like it could have been a PR, a PR stunt PR though. Stunt. It could have, it could have, but at the end of the day, I don't see a lot of competition. Like you said, MI can decide to throw 30 songs. Can Nito C try and anything like that? And then talking about um, starting a family and leaving the music scene, I think it's okay for people to decide what works for them. If the music wasn't paying the bills anymore, it was with Storm Records, right? Obi Asika's um, record label at the time. And um, at that time, at that time of music, it's not like now. It's not like this new generation record labels where they were making a lot of money, where they had um, international record deals, where they were selling out shows and they were getting millions of naira for performance. It wasn't like that then. And if you're starting a family and you know that music is Is it not the only one that started a family? Huh? Is it the only person that started a family? I'm talking no, about that time. Is, is, even that the time. Is, the only okay, person so that tell me one I'm other person that started that. a family that time that to, is still to, relevant to, to now. To me, to me. Sorry, wait, 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 wait. But you guys, wait, wait. Let like, me just no, let me finish I feel this. like uh, when what I'm saying, like I said, I said I'm not saying they have to do it the way I said they should. Everybody has um, the right to decide how they want their life to go. Mm. But giving up that much um, because of marriage to me just wreaks a level of um laziness That's because not, hold no, on no, it no, takes a that. lot of work mm. we are not going to rule that out yeah. marriage is challenging on its own being able to still move along with your passion and mm. maintain it is going to take the support of your spouse yourself being able to put the double work and balance it mm. and then 
the hustle and yeah. how he pays. Don't say that it wasn't paying him because Nedrosi was one of the top ten at the time. He was one of the top ten. When you call his account one of the top ten, if, uh, that's what point, you should think about. There were about. already any millions for performing what? at events. What? Yes, I am no, telling Elsie, you. Get your facts right. There were not there were any not, millions. There were not any there millions for streams, millions. but nope. there were any millions nope. for performing no. at events. Who's going to pay? Who's going to pay you a million? Who's going to pay you a million to perform at that time? Are you joking? Millions? No. It's not even about the facts. The point is that he didn't survive that period and he could have there's no excuse for that um using money is not a good enough example because he's not the only person that had wife and children <laughs> to take care of what about the people who had kids already then and wife then then already i mean is he the only man in I, that okay, industry can you give me one other example no somebody? i'm saying if i do you, do you need an example to agree with the fact that another what person I'm can, can I, don't, um, I don't want us to judge a man we're not judging yeah him. but you we're can't defend something that judging. you don't that that isn't true like you, because somebody leaves the music industry for a um, marriage it, does not we, mean we that the music industry is we don't suffering. even know if he, he left. just left it for, see, we don't even see, know me, if this he is my left opinion. because he got married. This is, but Maybe he left when he got married. That was how so I said it. It's, it's well, not rocket at the end science of the day, I, I just feel like every man needs to decide what works for him. Everyone, And actually. his family. And yeah, that, that, yeah, that's my opinion. Everyone. I think there's Come a lot of people in the music. Every man does not mean everyone. Yeah. Every man I think there's a lot of people in the music industry that don't love music strong enough to... to kill for it that's just the truth mm -hmm. you've, you've seen a lot of them and i think nato sees in that box if you have a passion that you that reeks that like you can't do without marriage is not going to be the thing to stop you or money either because it's not about that we've always said that on that table there's a lot of people who have had no money in their pockets and still ride the period and stay relevant and then there's people who want to do that but the talent isn't there, there. so um, um i, I think when I think about Nato, see, I think about Chidima as well. I don't know if you remember Chidima. Chidima is someone that had a beautiful voice, could really not kill it. Her. She's still she's still small. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't necessarily think that that girl loves music enough. Mm. That's just the truth. And I think Nato is in that in that category. I don't think it's about marriage. And I don't think it's about money either. That's Sometimes just me. it's about yeah. where you're signed to as well. Maybe mm. they know no, let's well, take away. So I'm looking forward to this. Mi and anyway. Nato see. Um, I I have to go closer to Elsie's thought, it's trail of thought where this isn't a competition and it's something else. Maybe you're trying to do like a throwback into what used to be and this and this and that. I think the A2C should have had somebody else who was like him, where they were big in the industry and they probably didn't get the eyeballs. True. So they need MI controversy to get the album. Because MI, let's not disrespect him like that. That's that's <laughs> that's an unworthy challenge. <laughs> like yeah. Burner Boy. So let's um, not call it a battle. Let's yeah. call it fun. Yeah. Whatever it is, just to support them. Because if people go to Tori Lane's Instagram live to go and be looking at Bomb Bomb, support your people. It's there that simple. Mm. Anyway, so moving on, I guess. Angelic Hijo, aka um, Diamond Platinum's Fali Pupa, Nasty C, Sorti So, Stoneboy, Tenny, Tiwa Savage, and Yemi Alade are all on the lineup for Africa Day Benefits Concert at Home. This announcement was made by YouTube and Viacom CBS Network Africa with Idris Elba. The concert will be streamed on YouTube on Monday, May 25 at 6 p.m. Central African Time. Um, the two-hour special will raise funds to support food and health needs for children and families in Africa affected by the COVID-19 pandemic through the World Food Program and UNICEF. Finally, the <laughs> Again, again. Okay. Where is Whiskey? Where is Whiskey? He's cooking, um, he's cooking his you know, album, the eh, guy. So, sometimes Whiskey, <laughs> uh, this is going to be like, just allow me to do gossip for a second. Okay. There was this um, uh, radio station. I don't know their names anymore. I'm bad with their names, but they're, I think it was maybe Dots, those type of people. And they had worked with Whiskey when he was just starting. And they had all these things to say. I was so in love with him. I'm like, mm mm. But it sticks in my head every time because I'm beginning to see truth. Or connection to that. What did you there's say? There's something about like the music industry, apart from the talent, there's the business side, and then there's the communications and interpersonal relationship that you have with people. And I begin to suspect that they were right when they said he really suffers with that. Like he's not necessarily like the kindest person or like the easiest person or somebody that you want to work with they very have often. A very nice professional relationship. Yeah, with the and industry. that he uses people, <coughs> things like that. I'm beginning to see that because every time there is um, something that has to do with collaboration and getting the community to, you know, push you. More like <clears throat> a lone wolf. Yeah, it's kind of like a lone wolf. And he, he has the the flex to do that because he's talented and he has a connection and he has FC, Wiz, whatever their fan base is called. Fun, he has all that. So I think he can achieve that. But I'm beginning to see, like, he might not actually be the type of person that has that, like, you know, let's all do this together I'm with my colleagues type of thing I've never really seen him do that but that's so like by the way I'm good 
Good initiative, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kudos to them. Like you first said, finally, we've been waiting for this to come to, <clears throat> to come home, basically, <clears throat> and it has. And um, of course, I'll be rooting for them and watching. Thank God it's not clashing with MI and um, NATO C. So it's Sunday and then Monday. And shout out to YouTube and Idris Elba. Even if I'm watching it just to see Idris Elba's face, that's a reason as well. So, yeah. I'm glad they finally listened and... Um we hope that they are going to put this money to good use, like they said. Like, it's not going to go to some people's pockets, because I hope it actually goes to the kids that really deserve this money and whatever um, proceed they make from it. So I just don't want some people being greedy about it, because there are a lot of people that are lacking in this at times. So let's just try, 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 try. If you're listening, anybody, the organizers, don't make this money for yourself, please. Okay. That's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906005719 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by visiting and subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. My thank you, as always, will go to my amazing co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Shunkaya. Yes, that's me. And the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay safe. Thank you.